Have you even imagined trouble in the future? How are we working for the future? Do you know what happened in our planet? Do you think life will be possible with 50 or 100 years? Life in the future. From the beginning of the earth to now, human being has always wondered the same question. How is the future going to be like? But how was the beginning of this? That is a question that few people make. There are many theories about the origin, like one about the meteorite that has burned, crashed into Earth, and these bacteria got absorbed in danger. Hundreds of years later, they came into the first alive organisms in our planet, but where did these particles come from? That's a paradox. Believing in life in other planets is not a crazy thing. There are many evidences that our culture didn't create by themselves. At first, our planet was a hostile place. The atmosphere was full of toxic gases, compounded by ammonia and other gases. Therefore, life is possible in planets such as Mars, Jupiter, and many other planets in the universe. And why not? There is life in planets farther than ours. Day by day, our planet has been suffering change. Oceans, the atmosphere, and the air have tried to keep a balance, but it is getting hard. We are in our future. Is this really possible? We are at the beginning of a new era. Our planet's climate is in risk. The century of the oil is ending. The world's energy must be safe. Without it, we could die. In 2050, the number of people living in cities will be bigger than the world's population of today. Therefore, democratic charges will be dramatic. That's why inventors and engineers should be more creative than ever before. It's very easy to think about a global conflict, ecological destruction and economical disorder, and believe the world is getting worse. Being optimistic about the future is not easy. I am very pessimistic about the future. Human being is destroying his planet. He is improving smarter cars, better phones, and faster communication. But he is losing his work. Don't we realize about this, or we do not want to? Um, what will it happen in the future? Will the world be better or worse? I think that as many better technologies appear, we destroy the planet. We want to create cures for cancer, AIDS, etc. And we don't realize that by doing all of this, um, there will be more people and natural resources won't be enough. The natural resources will get over or the temperature will turn cold, colder or hotter. So I don't think that we will get that future. There are many things to be said about what that's going to be like. As either good things or bad things, for better or worse. The way we do things now can be completely different than we probably do in the future. Are we all going to spend the rest of our life in Earth? Or perhaps we will start populating our planet? Maybe technology we take further than we expect, and there won't be no illnesses, therefore life will be longer and healthier. Or maybe the future will be a mess, a completely mess. Perhaps there'll be another world war, and all the countries will be devastated due to it. Will there be another Holocaust? We don't know what the future has prepared for us, but we can tell from the good and the bad. The path we are walking on is taking us to the good or to the evil. Just try to talk. In spite of the damage we've done to Earth, there's still the possibility to get a future, but in a better way, in which humankind will live in peace with their planet. We can think in a utopic future, but can we really do it? Actually, the future is unwritten. The advanced technology has been destroying the planet little by little. Let's take a look. Overexploitation is a present, and it is going to be the future. Humankind is destroying the planet by deforesting green places, polluting with trash and gas plants. But not everything is lost. I see great technological advances, like human regeneration and looking younger when you are indeed 100 years old. Another new invention is the computer with feelings. It could be your best friend. But what's about life in other planets? Is this possible? 
Our planet is really suffering change thanks to the human that day by day we are destroying the natural resources. But why do we create many technologies? Would it be better to stop the technological advance? I think we won't. Why? Because we need to develop ability for the labor world. Then what do we do? We need to analyze the technological uh, that we have the humans being an environment. For example, the only energy. It is a nice technology for the environment as we may use pure energy in our house. But technological aren't completely respecting the world. But every time it advances more and more and human beings are changing the, the planet resources and for taking own benefits for taking own benefits doublessly in the destruction of her. Anyway, this has to happen. Maybe technologies will be able to help humankind to live in a better way. Or maybe we will be able to create new ones that let us populate other planets. But we are still unsure about it. Life in the future is very different. There will be many technology advances than there are now. Many scientists have sent a spike to Amar and they have realized that there is a high probability of life. Uh, there will be dramatic climate change. Uh, the damage humans have done in the planet has affected the environment. Thinking about future, do you think we'll get the end of world or that everything will remain the same? Will the man end up with planet? Many people may be wondering, is our world will change someday? What would you change? What does it need to change? What things are going to change? Pollution to eliminate the oil. As the world is changing, there are many scenarios that we can see from now in our future. There will be many needs mainly for humans focus on natural resources, wise of living, communication and environment. In the different scenarios, we can appreciate the climate change concerning the global warming and the, and the effect of this in our world as our communication routes can get affected by it. Making the process insecure or running against it, the odds that the rain or natural disasters can bring with it. Imagine a digital life in the future where humans can live every day connected to the internet. We imagine that, but is that possible? I am not optimistic about the future. I am sure the future will be worse because nowadays we are destroying our forests, we are killing the animals, we are destroying our planet simply. The dangerous, the dangerous animals are, and the forestation are increasing day by day and we, we don't make uh, anything about that. Uh, it's, it's, it's hard, it's really hard because we are, we are seeing how our planet is destroying. But I still have hope. I hope the environmental engineers to discover some methods to to protect the extinction of the animals and to save our planet. In 30 years, everything around us will change dramatically. For example, cars, people, technology, and lifestyle. Experts predict that technology will evolve and advance dramatically in less than 30 years. Cars and other machines will be powered by electricity instead of gasoline, and the energy used will be collected from the sun. This change will be benefit the environment because with an advanced technology, there will be less pollution. Scientists have predicted that more pollution will increase than more percent because they will be evolved, and evolved allowing doctors to understand the expectancy of humans. In medicine, genetic engineering will allow scientists to create the perfect humans. Parents will actually be able to choose how their child are going to look like before, before, like choosing the color of the eyes, hair, intelligent levels, and other aspects. In the future, parents select the genes of their children. Humans will revert aging and diseases. The food will be produced in a laboratory. Houses will be decorated virtually with natural, modern, exotic and history landscape. For example, forest, Christmas, national holidays, birthdays and pyramids. In the future we will need to attend important events, personally or medical appointments, 
Just a hologram will be necessary. Life will be practical because of technological advances. Why these technological advances increase the deterioration of our planet? What will our future look like? Plus, it's cities trying to war and sanguinary. And how can you get back to my using our natural resources to help build our own population in such areas as food, water, and electricity? The air of the moon fires can be over because we will offer some nuclear cars. There will no longer be the air for cars and roads. Hazard will be environment, environmental, and many personal vehicles between cities and other reserves. And we will never be lost again. Thanks to GPS, we will be for racing. Then again, we shall have the information and we will need to travel at all. I think if we had a second chance in life in the future, we wouldn't be on our planet Earth because of all the damage we have done to the environment, which is irreversible. I think that food otherwise close to the Earth planet, which would have a clean, fresh and palate and without so many diseases, all in consequence of the few people to have the opportunity to live there, which have reflect on all the damage he did to planet Earth and don't want the same to happen with the new home. On this planet of which I speak, there will be capsules in each home to cure all kinds of disease without going to the doctor. There will be artificial oxygen, trees and artificial flowers, everything is artificial, except water. Nothing will be like our planet Earth, but why we complain? The damage is already done. The population on this planet will be very small. Not everyone can have the opportunity to travel there, but what do you think? All that I say is fiction. We won't have a second chance at life. Our planet Earth is unique. We care for our planet. We should appreciate it. How is the future going to be? Better or worse? However, we are going to see different kinds of futures that are waiting for humankind. The first, the first possible in the future is where the most of our resources have been wasted by humans. As we can see the fight for resource easily, and the country with the, mm, the large reserve of resources is considered the most powerful in the world. But the future is not uh, about the resource. Also, there are many technological inventions that will be able to help us. Day by day, life on this planet becomes untenable. Even though we are considered the most intelligent species of the planet, humankind still destroyed it. So if we continue living this way, the question is, what future await us? A professor and a doctor named Michukaku thinks in 50 years the big challenge will be the energy. The energy for cars, the energy for houses, the energy for cities, the energy to supply population without affecting the environment. Why? Because in 50 years the population will be 9,000 million on the planet. On the other hand, the global economy consumes 50,000 million liters of oil a day. That's why Scientists are looking for new energy sources in the atom, on the bottom of sea, even in the space. The United States and China have a space station based in the Pacific Ocean 400 kilometers above the Earth, but they haven't succeeded. Also, scientists and oil companies invest millions of euros in solar technology. Why? Because the sunlight is clean, it's uh, safe, and it's unlimited too. The question is, how can we get it? As a matter of fact, we are changing our environment by our exploitation, the natural resources, halting and killing our as a result, we are suffering many of these consequences, like global warming, an example, could be high temperature, droughts, 
Blood and Fire Foster Inter, we need to change our custom or lifestyle because we are dying so slowly. Before we had a good wear, fruit, garbage, rind, rind, and the time and time all was perfect. So, what was the mistake? Hope to you discover it.